Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about your place in the fields. So, in all rooms, we have three sound fields. And it's amazing to me, from the calls and the room forms that we get, that people completely forget about the ceiling height. They'll give me the dimensions of the width and the length of the room, but they won't give me the dimensions of the ceiling height right away. Like it's not a major concern. You know, they're more interested in the width and the height or the width and the length. I understand that, but in acoustics, we have three sound fields within a room. We have the front wall to rear wall, side wall to side wall, and then the most important floor to ceiling. Because why? It's the most missed. People don't even think about it. I guess out of sight, out of mind. I don't know what the reasoning behind it is. But what you realize in in dealing with thousands of rooms is that the ceiling height is usually the shortest dimension. What well, we know in, in acoustics from past videos that large frequency and amplitude problems occur when you have small dimensions. Try to squeeze low frequency energy into 10 feet, doesn't work, especially when a, a 100 cycle wave is 11.3 feet. So, Every sound field has a different frequency and amplitude. So we have the width, we have the length, and then we have the height. And most rooms we deal with in North America, eight foot, you get that 70 cycle problem. So low frequency pressure is in all three sound fields. Middle and high frequency reflections are in all three sound fields. So you have to treat both pressure and reflections and you have to do it in three sound fields. So it's very important that you understand that the room is really three rooms in one. And that's something you have to keep in mind. Our carbon technologies for low frequency management, pressure management, we all know that. You can build it into the walls or you can have freestanding units. The room doesn't care how you do it. Obviously the most effective and uh, performance generating ways to build it into the walls because you get more surface area coverage than you do freestanding units. So that's the highest resolution you'll ever get, building it into the walls and turning the whole wall into a tuned absorber. So that's the goal with that. Foam technology, mid and high frequency reflections, low frequency pressure problems, 12 to 16 inches. That's why with our CAW system, we frame it out with two by 12 studs. So we have that 11 inches to work with. And that's just physics. You need that cabinet depth to generate the resonant frequency. Foam, four to six inches for treatment. So you can see that you're gonna be giving up a lot of space in your room. So if you have a room, let's say 17 by eight by 23, well, you treat the low frequencies, you're gonna be down to 15, you're gonna be down to 21, here, if you're going to treat the low frequencies, you could be down to seven. So look at the before and after. There's the OD, outside diameter, and this is the ID, inside demand. And both of these rooms produce now different sets of problems. So the goal when we treat and reduce the size of the room, which is unfortunately what we have to do in order to treat it, we have to make it smaller. You want to make sure that you don't create more problems with the treatment. And that's the balancing act that we have to go through all the time. So just keep this in mind that your place in the fields in a small room, you have three fields and you have to treat each one of those fields if you're gonna achieve the resolution that your strategy sets for you. Your place in the fields, hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.